shit. It's a thousand. Right? Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Should you come? Spin the check and get it right back. What's going on, guys? This is your boy Easy TV bringing you guys another Division Two video today. The update is officially out for Division Two. Um, today we're just going to go over the patch notes together. I haven't seen everything in the patch notes. I do know that certain stuff will still be cheesy. The Berserk Strain Clutch meta is still going to be around. I think it's going to be around until they actually fix it, man. You can still run Berserk Strain Clutch out of everything in this patch for me. Um, Berserk Strain Clutch was the thing to fix. They actually did some PVP modifiers where you don't, you know, you don't hit as hard and they changed uh i believe berserk around so it's like 20 percent armor 20 percent of uh max armor is depleted you get uh weapon damage 10 percent weapon damage but you can still run that combination i can guarantee you man it's going to be even worse or just as just the same as it was before man because it's so much you can still run a glass cannon bill and spec into um spec into health or armor and still be able to run clutch and now strained has no requirements there's no requirements for strain so they dropped the ball on that one for me man i uh, uh we're gonna see what happened once we start getting into the groove with things but right now they didn't drop the ball for me but without further ado we're gonna get into the patch notes we're not gonna read everything we're gonna read the most important stuff um we're not going to do like the accommodations and trophies. If you guys want to see any of that stuff, I will leave the link in the description for that uh, example. Gave me this, you know, the the patch notes or whatever. So appreciate him for for doing that. But all right, man, this is going to be rough. Let's get into it. All right. So you got new features. Operation Dark, Dark Hours, Operation Dark Hours. So it's our first raid Da da da. Teamwork collaboration. So the um the raid is not out yet. All right. The raid is not out. The raid actually comes out in two days. So be prepared for the raid. I advise you guys to have well rounded builds that have armor, that have health, that has probably a pulse. You probably gonna need a healer, some snipers, you're gonna need all that stuff. I'm telling you right now, if there's anything that's gonna be like the division I me, mean, not the division, the um destiny raids you're going to need that all right um classified new feature classified assignments the fall of dc classified assignments are exclusive missions for owners of the year one pass so if you don't have this year one pass the same for you you won't be able to get it all right discover and complete these missions to hear stories behind uh behind the fall of dc as well as unlocking exclusive backpack trophies title update three includes the first two classified assignments i probably will do a video on those uh, assignments so people can see and the people who don't have the year one pass can enjoy you know see what those missions are about all right so but like i said if you don't have the year one pass you won't be able to get those missions all right sad but it is what it is all right um we already know about the dark zone uh the peril new apparel starting together with the raid so they i guess they got raid clothes and stuff like that that's cool uh we're gonna go past uh the achievements we're gonna go past the accommodations if you guys are into that stuff i will have the link in the description again but i'm just trying to get to the stuff for like that's more pve pvp um crafting increase the base cap for receiver components and protective fabric materials by 200 meaning that their caps are now 350 and end at 600 with all material capacity perks all right so i don't know who this is in inia or whoever it is uh and the base of operation is now crafting is now a crafting vendor she can be found next to the crafting bench in the white house okay so i'm i'm pretty sure that's the black chick if i'm not mistaken that's the young black chick all right added special and superior skill mod blueprints uh to stock her to her stock added an extra weekly blueprint to her stock move crafting crafting blueprints for the base of operations vendor to her stock uh while she's she will have variety of blueprints available there are still other sources of the all right whatever 
All excited, uh, all excited items upgraded through crafting will get a maximum gear score of the current crafting bench tier. All right, that's cool. Gear bonus armor granted on blue attributes gear significantly increased. Okay, so you get a lot more armor now. I'm guessing bonus armor. You get a lot more bonus armor now. Armor percent can now be found as defensive attribute rolls. Health percent can now be found as defensive attribute rolls. Gear sets hardwire now grants skill damage instead of shock duration. Okay, that's cool. Skill damage. So you can have like a skill build, something, uh, you know, like more seeker, uh, seeker mind build, or anything like that. So that's cool. Ongoing directive now grant special am, uh, ammunition into any weapon, including the weapon currently equipped. Now grant special ammunition on any kill, not just weapon kills. Okay, that's cool. That's, you know, that's once again, this, this is going to be for PVE and this is going to be like for raid stuff. True Patriot, decreased debuff cycle for four seconds to two seconds. All right, so it's on, you only get a two second uh, cycle buff and then increased damage dealt to nearby targets when full flag is active to 50%. All right, so I guess people complained that there wasn't enough damage for the red, white, and blue. Uh, so now they up the damage for a full flag to 50%, all right? So for the loot, loot containers now reset a preset uh at a preset time of day uh what does that mean what time what is the timer what is the what is the timer how many times up to a day like up in the day that you can be able to get you know these containers they didn't specify that control point reward container will now also reset with this timer daily, okay. Improve quality and quantity of drone helicopter loot, okay. Slightly reduce the quality of items from clan caches. What? What? Why would they do that? Cabinet loot containers. Now I have a chance to contain Dark Soul keys. That's cool. Increase ammunition drop. Change blah blah blah. Dark zone contaminated loot does not drop below player's average gear score and will guarantee gear score 500 when the player has reached 500 score. That's cool. Heroic difficulty mission bosses, stronghold bosses, bounty bosses, heroic control points, uh, reward containers will guarantee gear score 500 when the player has reached. That's cool. Loot now skews more towards the top end of its allowed gear score resulting in fewer items below a, a player's uh, average gear score and items that do that do drop below it will be closer to the average more often. That's cool. Increase the rewards, the daily, the daily heart and challenge mission pr projects and will guarantee gear score 500 when the player has reached 500. All right, that's fine. That's that's all fine right there. So you got basically more buffs in loot than anything. All right. So that's not bad right there. Um, what is this new feature post mission activity summary after completing missions, players may opt to look into activity summary showcasing their performance and that activity in a lounge and extend uh, expanded look at a variety of detail. So I always fuck that up. Statistics, uh, statistics. I don't know how to say that right. Fuck it. Um, bankhead, bank. Uh, I said bankhead, bank headquarters. Uh, reduce difficulty for solo players. Roosevelt Island reduce difficulty for solo players. All right. So I guess people complained about that. Um, maybe it was too hard for solo players, and a lot of people like you being solo. So you know, uh. You know, they just reduce the difficulty down just a little bit, but it probably won't be nothing too major where you can just breeze through it super easy. I never really had those problems running solo missions, even when they were invaded or anything like that. But, you know, it is what it is. Mods. Hive users can now find plus healing on experimental blend mods. 
Hive users can now find plus radius on the network firewall mods, new mods, auxiliary skill battery, and then auxiliary skill batteries fit in skill mod slots and grant skill power. That's cool. Now, I'm not going to read all this. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to read all the NPC stuff. Um, we're just going to skim through it. Updated RC blade to fix various things. Elite medics post grenade has been changed. No longer applies disrupt, reduce impact, re uh, this uh, radius. The grenade impact radius should now be easier to see. Decrease damage of veteran elite and name NPCs. Okay, so they're weaker now that everybody was complaining about because they were, man, those damn things hit hard. Uh, greatly decreased melee damage of all tank NPCs, yes. Moderately decreased melee damage of non, yes. Decreased throwers, uh, accuracy with grenades, man, them damn things was pin perfect. They can throw from a mile away and hit you, all right? Slightly decreased damage to elite named a uh, warhound. Yes. Oh my God. Those damn warhounds will one shot you. If you had, if you didn't have over 200 K armor, you was one shot by a warhound. You was going down and then they put you on bleed too. Uh, civilian control point officers now wear pants. What? Was that a thing? I don't know. Upgrading sentiment now slightly increased civilians damage. Okay. NPCs will now be slightly less defensive while in cover and being aimed at by a player. They want this shit to be like super easy, man. Who all complained about this? This is crazy. Uh, decreased likelihood of NPCs using ladders in combat. Why is that a thing? Like, why? Why is that in the? Why did we? Why did we fuck with that? Why are, did complete? Did people really complain about stuff like this? That's crazy. Decreased likelihood of NPCs using special navigation out of combat. Why? Anyways, all right, let me skim through the rest of this. Uh, civilian hostages are now more protective of their lives. Fix the issue with explosives, causing extreme amounts of threat, confusing NPCs. Um, enemy NPCs should no longer be able to stagger players with the melee attack of the player. That's a ballistic shield. That's common sense. You shouldn't be able to do that. Um, drone helicopter. Don't care about that. Decrease outcast suicide vest explosion radius. Wow. People complained about that. Lower NPC damage and health above normal difficulty. Increased variety of NPCs at higher difficulties. So a lot of this stuff is like unnecessarily stuff that they didn't even have to change that. I know a lot of people complained about. So that's whack as hell. So the people who complained about that, man, y'all don't like this right here. Decreased likelihood of NPCs using ladders. Come on, y'all. Really? Anyways, um, open world. I'm not I don't really care about the open world stuff. All right. Recalibration. Recalibration has changed to allow the majority of stats to be moved as they are from one item to another while making it less likely to reach the cap of a stat move. To achieve this goal, we're expressing the recalibrated power as a separate number called recalibration score next to the gear scores. As such, recalibrated uh, recalibration will no longer increase the gear score of the item. Okay, that's fine. That's that's fine. All existing recalibrated items will have their recalibrated additional gear uh, score converted to new format. Adjusted. Uh, cost and ability to be recalibrated for terminate, kneecap, and calculate. What? Hold on. Adjusted cost and ability to be recal. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, these were the things that were, I think, that were broken and wouldn't, you couldn't roll them off or something like that. Cause I did, I think I did have this recalibration problem with terminate if I'm not. Mistaken, it was some and I couldn't recalibrate it off. So, okay, that's cool. Um, rewards, I don't care. Skills, all right. I don't care about none of this. We're going to just look at these two. You know what? We'll look at like 40s. All right, Defender Drone will now drain more quickly once a shot has been deflected. Thank you. Okay. 
Thank you. Let's hope that it works the way it's supposed to work. Because some of those defender drones sit up there forever and these people don't even have skill power. So thank you for something that was supposed to be in the game from launch. All right. And then the reinforcer Kim launcher, man. Everybody is sad about this. Oh boy. Uh reinforcer gas clouds do not stack anymore. So trying to drop two of them to heal up faster. Uh uh. Nope, it ain't happening. You probably gonna need a certified healer to get that good amount of heal like you want to or run safeguard at least. Um reviver high fix further occurrences of players not being being revived. Yes, that thing has been broken from launch. Revive time slightly increased. Um so what I guess you get up faster. I'm guessing. And then a scanner pulse. Reduce cooldown from 120 to 90 seconds. I like that because I got a post build and now I know my stuff is going to come back even faster than what it was. I like that. All right. Talents. Oh, man. Talents. Talent. We're going to read all this. We're going to read all this. So, the, you know, just bear with me. We're going to read it. Gear talents. Berserk. Increase we uh, re <laughs> increase required max armor depleted from 10 to 20. So you got to get 20% of your armor taken now to get that damage um, for Berserk. It has to be 20% not 10%. Now require seven offensive attributes. Now, like I told you guys, you guys can still run strain Berserk and Clutch. It's a way that you have to build for it, but it's still possible. And I still think it's going to shred. I'm just, you know, just because they put caps on stuff and changed around damage don't mean it's going to be actually fixed. Um, and blacksmith increase armor repair from 25 to 50 can now occur every 15 seconds was 10. So they, they nerfed that and now require seven defensive attributes. All right. Bloodlust. This is PVE. Uh, increased granite weapon damage from 35 from 25 to 35 increased decrease duration from 10 seconds to five seconds. Now the PVP side of bloodlust, it decreased granite weapon damage from 25 to 20 decreased duration from 10, uh, from 10 seconds to five seconds now requires non offensive attributes. All right. So that took, uh, basically a damage uh, reduction. So they took the uh, basically a buff away. They took it down. Blood sucker on the PVE side, depleting the enemy's armors adds a stack of plus twenty five percent bonus armor for ten seconds. Max stack is six. Was twenty percent twenty seconds five. Okay, so they got a buff. You got twenty five instead of twenty. You got 10 seconds instead of 20 seconds and you got six instead of five. All right. So that's a buff for PVE. Now I'm pretty sure they probably late. They, <laughs> they nerfed it for PVP depleting the enemy's armor as a stack of 20% bonus for five seconds. Max is five now requires 11 offensive attributes and assault rifle SMG or LMG equipped. So that goes Blood circle. All right. <sighs> hey, if y'all notice, everything for PvE PvP is being nerfed. Everything. All right. Critical. Reduce critical hit damage bonus from eight percent to five percent. Once again, they taken away from PvP. Um. Cause critical is really used for PVP. So reduce critical hit damage bonus from 8% to 5%. So we losing 3% clutch. So they gave clutch a buff. I heard about this increased health gain per critical hit from 15 to 20%. So you get more increased health reduced armor gain per critical hit from 2% to 1%. So you only get 1% back. All right. 
for the critical hit now requires four or less defensive attributes. So like I said, you can still run those. You can still run clutch just by putting on um, defensive attribute mods. You can still run clutch. You don't even have to roll nothing on your gear. You could just run um, those uh, stamina mods or whatever you want to call them on your gear and just have four of those. And then you can roll all firearms everywhere else. And like I said, there, there's your berserk strain and clutch combination still. Uh, entrenched, increased armor repair for headshots from cover to five to 10. Nobody really use that. Hard hitting. Oh my God, bro. Why they keep fucking with damage to elites? We j oh my God, bro. We just got a buff for me, a nerf from the mods, from damage to elites and all that stuff. And now y'all go back and take away 5%, 5% of damage to elites from hard hitting. Why? Why is this a thing? Why? Why is this a thing? What's the, what was the point of that? It's PVE It's damage to elites. Oh my God. Um, kneecap increased change. A uh, chance to apply bleed when shooting the enemy in the leg. So now, uh, there go your predator mark right there. Now they buffing this bullshit. So now you get more chance of making somebody bleed uh, by shooting them in the goddamn knee. That's crazy, bro. Patience. After being in cover for five seconds, armor repairs by 5% every one second was three seconds. So every if you in cover, if you in cover, you get 5%. Every second, so every second that go by, so you get fifteen percent for three seconds. Okay, and now it requires six defensive attributes: safeguard, uh, reduced duration from twenty to five seconds. Whack can only occur once every twenty seconds. This was already the case, but is now reflected in the tool uh tool tip. Now requires four or less offensive attributes so they nerfed safeguard of course like we knew that spotter increased weapon damage to post enemies to 10 percent to 20 uh 20 percent now that's good for me because i got that post bill baby so now i'm gonna actually hit even harder even though they took away berserk and other stuff but at least i get some type of damage compensated back from the post uh, now requires five utility attributes, surgical, reduced critical hit chance bonus from 8% to 5%. Once again, another, um, another PVP debuff, basically. Um, a lot of those crit chance builds are going to be lacking in crit chance now, even though we don't even have the gun mods. It's going to be kind of hard to get that 60 cap, probably even at 50 cap, because if you're running uh, surgical, I think you can run surgical on like three or four pieces. You're going to be missing a significant amount of. You're probably going to be running missing at least 12 percent critical hit chance just from that alone. Well, I think you can run it on three pieces, if I'm not mistaken. So in this 9%, you'll be missing. All right. Unbreakable for PVE. Increased amount of max armor repaired when armor is depleted from 25% uh, to 75%. Okay. Increased time frame of armor kits not being consumed when effect, uh, when effect triggers from 5 seconds to 7 seconds. Okay. Now the PVP side of this. For unbreakable, increase max armor repair when your armor is depleted from 15 to 25%. So that got a buff. Increase time frame from armor kits not being consumed when effect triggers from five to uh, seven seconds. Now requires 11 defensive and no other talents affecting armor kits. Okay. So uh, maybe you can have efficient. I'm, I think efficient is what that is. So. I don't think you can run with this with efficient. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe, maybe not. 
Uh, unstoppable force on the PVE side. Killing the enemy now grants 2% weapon damage for every 25,000 max armor PVP. Killing the enemy now grants 1% weapon damage for every 25, uh, 25,000 max armor. Now requires seven or more defensive attributes. Developer comment due to the increase in, ava in available armor on gear made, we decided to also increase the max armor requirements for unstoppable force. So that's right there. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know. We'll have to see, man. Cause I still only like only like two of my builds got touched and those other ones were berserk on it, but all the rest on my just fine. Uh weapon talents, frenzy, PVE. I don't really care about that. PVP. For every 10 bullets in the magazine capacity gain plus 1.5 rate of fire and 1.5 weapon damage for five seconds when reloading from empty killer now grants 30 percent critical hit damage for five seconds instead of 50 percent critical hit chance oh man so they took away almost every chance that you can get from a lot of critical hit chance they took it away so once again it says now grants 30% critical hit damage for five seconds instead of 50% critical hit chance for us. So for those builds that was using this, mm -mm, can't even use it no more. Oh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm tired. All right. Developer comment. We think critical hit damage feels more appro uh, appropriate as you already need, uh, need a relatively high critical hit chance to activate the talent regularly. All right. Measured now grants 20% rate of fire and negative 5% weapon damage in the top half. Now grants negative 20% rate of fire and plus 30% weapon damage in the bottom half of the magazine. Developers comment measure should now be a net damage bonus and the increased rate of fire should better support other talents effects activating. Okay. Uh, I ain't really getting into preservation, reform, spike, strain. I'm all right. These are two I'm looking for. All right, strain increase missing armor requirements from five percent to ten percent. So, and that five percent that go away, uh, uh, you need ten percent gone from, you know, to get strain kicking in like it's supposed to. All right, but like I said, there's no requirements for strain. So. Uh, I don't know if it was ever requirements for strain. I'm pretty sure it was requirements. Somebody, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there was requirements, but now there is no requirement. So like I said, that berserk strain clutch, you can still, that's still going to be the thing. I'm telling y'all right now, the cheese is still going to be there. Um, unhinged. So we got two reduced already. One look like a positive and one look like a negative. All right. So unhinged, reduce damage bonus from 25 to 20%. So we lost 5% of damage. Reduce handling negative from 35 to 25. So we get, you know, some handling back on the gun, but we also lose damage at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. Uh, vendors, vendors will now verify the player's highest achieved world tier offer items, gear score instead of offering items. Uh, okay, that's cool. Um, weapons. So we got weapons, conflict, and dark zone left, and then the bug fixes. All right. It's a little lengthy video, but it is what it is, man. I'm just going over the patch notes. So weapons, all exotic, exotic mod bonuses, all exotic mod slots now have unique bonuses. Okay. Didn't they all have that or all exotic mod slots now have unique bonuses. Okay. Uh, so the SOCOM MK 20 SSR now has a skin slot, man. No, nobody give a damn about that. Come on, bro. Uh, Nemesis optic plus you get plus 35% headshot damage 
Magazine is plus 10% reload speed. Muzzle is plus 15% critical hit damage. And Rail is plus 15% damage to Elite. So they all have their own little, okay, okay, I see what's going on, okay. So that, that Nemesis Sniper might be good for the raid right there since you got another, they already took away damage to Elite, but if you got that, they giving you 15%. You know, still not compensating for how much you didn't lost, but it is what it is. Um, chatterbox damage is increased. Okay, in mod slots they give you a uh, optic. They give you five percent critical hit chance. The magazine give you ten percent reload speed. The muzzle give you ten percent critical hit chance. So that's fifteen percent critical hit chance right there. And then the rail gives you plus fifteen percent handling. Uh, Sweet Dream slash Lullaby damage increased. Most of these got damage increased, uh, which they needed to be because these are exotic guns and a lot of the regular guns were out doing these guns. Mod slots, you get 15% on accuracy, 15% on reload speed, and 25% on optimal range. The Merciless uh, got a damage buff and that gives you 10% accuracy, 15% reload speed, 20% stability, and 20% handling on the rail. Uh, now this, this one right here needed a big buff, um, but it don't look like they got, it just needed a, 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 a major damage buff for it to be useful. Um, they give you 10% rate of fire, 20% 20 20 stability, 15% weapon handling. Uh, we're handling. Uh, I want to see how much damage was increased on this right here. Liberty, 10% uh, on critical hit chance. You get 15% damage to elite, 15% stability, and 15% uh, percent rate of fire on that. And then attack 50 says now has two zoom states. Cool. All right, conflict. This is what most people play in PvP right now. Conflict. So conflict. Armor boost. Uh, boost provided reduced by... 50%. All right. So I guess that boost that you get that pops up and you get it from out the box, you only get, you, you get 50% less than what you was getting before. So once again, another nerf armor value on name plates, improve visuals to better reflect how much armor the enemy has. That's good because there's a lot of times where you like, man, this dude is black barred and they not really black barred. It, those times were crazy right there. So let's see the balance. The balance. All players are now scale to max world tier gear score. Okay. Primary stats are set to high end values. Normalized talent overrides are applied. Budget distribution of unnormalized items is preserved. No additional bonus is applied. Unlock mods and talents from unnormalized builds are active. That's cool. Um, items above gear score 500 will be scaled, scaled to 500. So if you got like 515, you'll be at 500. No bonus stats will be applied to these items. Recalibration bonuses are not applied. All right. Um, PVP specific overrides. Weapon and skill global damage modifiers, targeted weapon and skill damage modifiers, and then the assault rifle now has a 1.25 PVP damage scaler applied. So it's stronger now. So, you know, though they, which it needed to be stronger because mostly everybody was running LMGs and SMGs and the assault rifles weren't really able to hang like that. Yeah, you had some and some people were good with them, but it needed a buff. Skill behavior overrides. All right, damage boost boost provided reduced by 50 percent so we got another boost you know a damage reduction the conflict npc was moved to a more prominent spot next to the helipad outside of oh man whatever i know that that chick right there whatever uh respawning players are now much more likely to respawn with their teammates that is good because there is times where you did spawn what the other team and you get flatlined skill cooldowns no longer reset when a player is killed yes yes i like that especially for conflict because p 
people can use that shield and drone, right? And when they get killed, they come back with a fresh drone. They come back with a fresh drone. So they can get killed over and over. They're going to keep coming back with a fresh new drone. And it was annoying as hell. It was annoying as hell to deal with that. So that's cool on my end. I like that. All right. PVP damage modifier reduced to increase time to kill. So they knock down the damage. We don't know how much by, but they knock down the damage. So you have longer fights. You have better time to react. Skill modifier increase to less skills have more impact than PVP. So that's cool skills. So you got your, like you said, you got your drones, your seeker minds, all the stuff that give out damage and all the other stuff is more impactful in PVP now. Cause they, they, I guess they fix most of the stuff. So that's cool. Cause a lot of that stuff was just shield and drone and gunplay berserk strain clutch. That's it. All right. Dark zone. Dark zone contaminated loot. Boss is now guaranteed a contaminated loot drop. Cool. Higher challenge landmarks can drop multiple contaminated items. Basic veteran and elite NPCs have their drop rate lower, but now have a high, a very high chance to drop contaminated loot. That's cool. DZ bag size. Uh, it got increased, whatever, whatever bracket NPCs. That's what I'm looking for. NPC AI reduce damage output, increase time to kill. So they're more tankier, but they're more weaker. So they do less damage, but have more armor or more health. If you want to call it that, uh, landmarks added a short cooldown to landmarks. Cool rogue remove cooldown. Thank you. You don't have a cooldown no more when you're rogue. There's still a five second toggle cooldown. Okay. Um, Thieves then now allows players to switch weapons, occupy a dark zone. That's what I want to see right here. Cause I don't like being around those turrets. Occupy dark zone damage modifiers added a separate PVP damage modifier. So I want to see how much damage one of these I'm going to test later and see one of these, um, um, I'm going to test to see how much damage you do in the occupied because I have a specific uh, occupied DZ build uh, with my T821 and I want to see how fast it actually shreds people with the modifiers now and all that. So my question is, is there a rogue system now in occupied dark zone or is there no rogue system still? That's the question. Uh, everything else is really nothing. They got fixes i i'm not going through all that you know i'm not going through all that stuff um yeah man the only thing i see about this is pvp got a lot of nerfs for sure for sure pve got a lot of nerfs i mean got a not i got a lot of buffs um but we still gonna have the berserk strain clutch meta i can guarantee y'all that mark my words assault rifles got a bu a buff a lot of stuff, skill, power, skill, damage, and all that stuff got a buff. That's cool or whatever. Um, but, man, yeah, we're going to see how this come out. Right now, I still think to this point that we might be in a doomed state of game right now because of the steel, berserk, strain, and clutch. I don't know how much in the private testing that they actually tested berserk, strain, and clutch and then, and then nerfed the damage depending on how strong it was. They didn't actually tell us that, but we're going to do some testing, man. Uh, I will have the link in the description. I know this video is a, I'm sorry, a little long, but I had to, you know, go through the stuff with y'all and read the stuff that I haven't seen. Uh, but I appreciate y'all. You know, if you made it this far through the video, man, I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Um, but you know, I appreciate all the love, the new subs, everything, the feedback. So I will catch you guys on another video and I'm out.